So are you embarrassed by the bad smell coming from your top load washer? Well, in today's video, we're going to uncover the truth behind how this happens and exactly how to fix it. Also stick around to the end of the video because we're going to reveal the one secret product that we use here at the Appliance Dudes to stop this from ever happening to you again. Welcome back to the Appliance Dudes. My name is Peter Allward and I'm not going to lie to you guys. Today's repair is going to be a little harder than the average repair we do here on this channel. But trust me, it needs to be done in order for us to prevent this issue from happening in the future. Also, like I said, stick around to the end of the video because we're going to show you the one product you need to prevent this from happening to you again in the future. With that being said, let's jump into the first part of this video, which is disassembling the washing machine. All right, guys. So the very first thing we're going to do is remove the two screws in the back of the washing machine right here using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once this is done, we gently want to pull the control panel towards us and set it back. So with the control panel out of the way, we want to remove these two gold clips that bind the chassis of the washing machine to the back plate of the washing machine. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of force here because they take a little bit of pressure to come out. Gently using your fingers, detach the door switch wire housing and set it off to the side. Now lift the lid of the washing machine and pull the chassis of the appliance off to set it off to the side. Here we can already see the excessive amount of dirt and debris that's built up in this washing machine. So what we want to do next is remove this washing machine plate by just using a little pry bar and prying off these little clips here. Again, don't be afraid of using a little bit of force here, just being mindful to not break the clips when you remove the plate. Now we have to remove the agitator cap. Now, depending which one you have, you may need a flathead screwdriver, or in some cases, you can just pull it out. Either way, this bolt on the inside here has to be removed, and it's usually a half inch or 12 millimeter socket. Now aggressively pull up on the agitator and set it off to the side. Now this next part here with the spanner nut, you're gonna need a special tool to remove this nut, which brings me to my next point. Now, believe me when I say that that spanner or not is extremely difficult to get off. Also on top of that, you'll see people who try to hit it with a hammer and what they end up doing is chipping that nut and you'll end up having to replace it. Now, hands down, the best thing to do to avoid breaking your spanner nut is to actually use a spanner wrench like you see here. Now, this is a TB123A and it is a notorious spanner nut wrench in the appliance industry. We use this on all of our top loaders, including Kenmore, Amana, Whirlpool, Inglis, and many other brands. Now I've gone ahead and left a link in the description below that will take you to this Amazon page where it is only $16.97. And believe me, it is going to save you a lot of headaches. So click the link below now and grab that spanner wrench. It's going to make this job a lot easier. And with that being said, let's jump back into the video. All right, now that you have your new spanner wrench, you're going to want to put it on the spanner nut, and then you're going to want to take a hammer and hit it a few times counterclockwise. Don't be afraid to use a little bit of force here because they're on there pretty tight. Once you have it, just rotate your hand until the nut comes off. Now let's lift the inner tub out of the outer tub and don't be afraid here. These are actually a lot lighter than what they look and you can already see a disturbing amount of dirt and debris that's built up on this inner tub. The outer tub is actually in much better condition and here what we want to do is remove the drive block and set it off to the side somewhere safe. To clean the outer tub, you don't have to use anything fancy. I just use some pine sole with some really hot water and I use a cloth to rub out all the dirt and debris from the outer tub. It's worth mentioning that some outer tubs could be in a lot worse condition than what you see here and you may need Need to use something a little more aggressive such as an sos pad and in case at this point you're wondering what causes this to happen it's actually fabric softener i encourage you guys to stop using fabric softener it is not good for your machine now cleaning the inner tub is significantly harder and by far the hardest part of this video i highly highly recommend that you use a steamer to soften the dirt and debris that's built up on the inner tub again i've left links for all the tools we use in this video in the description below so if you want to check out the steamer that we recommend here at the appliance dudes you can find it there once you spent a few minutes steaming the inner tub, what you want to do is actually use a fiber that has a relatively aggressive texture to it. Here I'm using a cloth, but I actually recommend using an SOS pad. And in some cases, I even use a steel drill bit to scrape this stuff off. All right, so after a little bit of pressure and elbow grease, you can see here that the inner tub is now ready to go back in place. And the first thing we want to do is put this drive block on, making sure these two grooves line up with the two grooves inside the outer tub, like you see right here. When putting the drive block back on, just be mindful that it's pushed all the way down. And once that's done, you can take the inner tub and put it back on the transmission shaft of the appliance. Now let's take the spanner nut and attach it back to the drive block. And what we're gonna do is first tighten it with our hands until it starts to have a little bit of tension. Take your spanner wrench and turn the spanner nut clockwise until it's fully tight. Similar to before, we're gonna take our hammer and tap the spanner wrench clockwise until it feels nice and secure. Once this is done, we can take the wash plate and attach it back to the outer tub, making sure not to break the clips. Just use your hands to apply a little bit of force until you hear them click in. Once the wash plate's back in place, we wanna take the agitator and attach it back to the transmission shaft and then screw in that 12 millimeter bolt. Now put the agitator cap back on top of the agitator. 
So now that you've cleaned both your inner and outer tub on your washing machine, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Pete, how do I prevent this from happening in the future? Well, like promised, we're going to show you the one secret ingredient that we use here at the Appliance Dudes to help all of our customers maintain a healthy smelling washing machine. Now, in the description below, I've gone ahead and I've left a link to these active washing machine cleaners. Now, these things have grown in popularity in the recent weeks and they are selling like hotcakes. They help to penetrate residue and grind buildup, remove odors and refresh washing machines. They help maintain washing machine performance. And on top of that, they're compatible with all wash machines, including top loaders and front loaders. Now you're going to want to grab these pods as fast as possible because they've grown in popularity over the last few weeks and they're almost always sold out. So again, click the link in the description, grab your active pods and let's jump back into the repair tutorial of this video. Now we're ready to attach the chassis of the wash machine back onto the wash machine. Now this can be a little tedious, so just be patient with it. The key here is to make sure that the water dispenser sits under the appliance chassis and that the back of the appliance and the chassis of the appliance almost sit flush together. Then you can go ahead and reattach these gold clips using a little bit of force to push them all the way down. Once this is done, you can connect the door switch wire housing back to the appliance and then fold the control panel of the appliance back down, making sure that these clips fit in the proper grooves. Okay, so you've learned to take your washing machine apart. You've also learned how to clean both the inner and outer tub. And most importantly, you've learned how to prevent this smell from happening to you again in the future. But with that being said, I just want to invite you guys to like and subscribe to our channel for any appliance issues you can and most likely will have in the future. And in the meantime, I hope this video helped and we will see you in the next one.